Our scripture passage comes from Luke's gospel, chapter 2, verses 13 and 14. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom God favors. I want us to imagine for a moment the Christmas season with no Christmas music. You go into the stores and there's the Christmas displays and decorations for sale and reminders to buy gifts for loved ones. But over the speakers, no Christmas music, no holiday concerts at local schools, no Christmas concerts at the Naples Phil, no Christmas musicals at the Naples Players or the Gulf Shore Playhouse. And we come to church and we light the Advent wreath and we have Christmas decorations and we hear the Advent scriptures from John the Baptist and the prophet Isaiah. And the music is beautiful, but it's not Christmas music. No Christmas carols, no joy to the world, no we three kings on Epiphany, no silent night on Christmas Eve. And that beloved Mariah Carey Christmas song that we all love so much. <laughs> You've never heard it before. It doesn't exist. I think that Christmas and music are inextricably linked. And sometimes it's to people's dismay. You might have heard people say before, oh my gosh, they're already playing Christmas music in the stores and on the radio, and it's not even Thanksgiving yet. Christmas music is like our communal town crier telling us everywhere we go, Christmas is coming, Christmas is coming, got to get ready, got to buy those gifts and prepare. Christmas is on its way. And what's so wonderful about that is that as long as we have Christmas carols and Christmas music, no one can take the joy of the holiday from us. Now, you probably have a lot of Christmas carols memorized, probably more than you realize, even if it's just the first verse. You might have been singing along to some of the carols you already heard this morning. And as long as we can sing a Christmas carol, we can celebrate this incredible holiday. And we are reminded of this important message in one of the most beloved Christmas stories, The Grinch. It goes something like this. The Who's down in Whoville with their Who pudding and their Who roast beast, which was something the Grinch didn't like in the least. But there was one thing the Who's did that the Grinch liked least of all. The Who's down in Whoville, the tall and the small, they'd stand close together, their Christmas bells ringing. They'd stand in hand in hand and the Who's would be singing. And they would sing and they would sing. And the more the Grinch thought of this Who Christmas sing, the more he thought, I have to stop this whole thing. And we know how the story goes from there. He goes down from Mount Crumpet down to Whoville and he brings his big sack and he takes everything. He takes their trees and their ornaments and their lights and their decorations and their tinsel and their packages and their wrapping paper. He takes all the trimmings from inside their homes and outside their homes and he thinks he has canceled Christmas. And so he goes to sleep and he wakes up on Christmas morning and he is so excited. He can't wait to hear the cries of the people down in Whoville when they realize what he has done. And so he gets quiet and he pauses and he puts his hand to his ear and he does hear a sound coming over the snow. It starts low and then continues to grow, but oh, the sound isn't sad. Why, it sounds quite merry. It couldn't be so. And so he stares down at Whoville. The Grinch popped his eyes and then he shook because what he saw was a shocking surprise. The Who's down in Whoville, the tall and the small, they were singing without any presence at all. He hadn't stopped Christmas from coming. It came. Somehow or another, it came just the same. It came without ribbons. Then it came without tags. It came without packages, boxes, or bags. And then the Grinch puzzled for three hours till his puzzler was sore. And then he thought to himself, oh... Maybe Christmas doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas means a little bit more. Those Who's down in Whoville, they had nothing. He had taken it all, and yet they were still able to celebrate Christmas because they could sing, and they were able to be, be merry and be with one another. 
And all we have to do to celebrate Christmas is be able to sing or hum or whistle a Christmas tune. And no one can take that away from us. And so in that spirit, let us continue to prepare our hearts for the birth of Christ as we enjoy some more Christmas music.